Hi everyone, hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. Um, I know we've been having a lot of fun. We've been playing water water gun fights and, and getting on teams and splashing each other with water and just enjoying being outside um, and having fun with family and friends. So I hope you guys, I highly recommend you guys go out there and, and just have some fun and laugh because laughter is always good for the soul. So I just highly recommend you guys going out there and just having fun if you're able to. Um, but I'm so happy that you guys are here and joining for the nightly devotional and just seeing what God has to say to us today. So let's go ahead and dive into the nightly devotional. Pollution solution. Do everything without complaining or arguing. Philippians 2.14. Pollution happens when something gets dumped into the environment that doesn't belong. Different kinds of pollution are in the world, but the three main kinds are air, water, and land pollution. Air pollution can be a big problem because all living things need air. This kind of pollution happens when fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas are burned. Car fumes and factory smoke are examples of air pollution. Water becomes polluted when chemicals, detergent, garbage, or even sewage gets dumped into the streams, rivers, or oceans. Land is mostly polluted by trash from litter on the other side of the road to massive garbage dumps and landfills. All the pollution is bad for the environment and bad for you, but there are ways you can help. Walk or ride your bike instead of taking a car. Pick up litter and put it in the trash. Recycle as much as you can. Turn off lights and electronics when you aren't using them. These, these may not seem like big things, but even small actions can add up to a lot. One other kind of pollution you can help get rid of is attitude pollution. This happens when you dump whining or anger words into the environment around you. Like all pollution, this, this hurts the environment around you, and that means it also hurts you. Times will come when you're angry or upset because you have to do something you don't want to do. But throwing a fit and grumbling won't change a thing. Instead, take a deep breath and smile. Then tackle the chore as you are doing it for God. Colossians 3, 23. Because whatever you do for others, you also do for God. Complaining pollutes the air around you. But a joyful spirit may, makes the environment better for everyone. God, some things I really don't want to do. Like cleaning my room, taking out the trash. But help me remember that when I serve others, I also serve you. Help me make the environment around me better and brighter with a joyful spirit. Be amazed. One of the strangest pollution stories happened when a ship somehow spilled in its cargo into the middle of the Pacific Ocean. What was the cargo? 28,000 rubber duckies along with a few rubber turtles, beavers, and frogs. Some of those duckies floated thousands of miles all the way to Alaska. So there you have it, guys. Um, so... You know, this is something, this is, this is interesting that I read this today because I've been struggling sometimes too when I'm like want, not wanting to do something and then sometimes I know that, that I, I know that I need to do it, you know, and I always remember like this is something that's, that's dear to me because I, I struggle with this sometimes and I, I stop and I do uh, talk to God and I ask him, God, help me because today I don't want to do this. But I know once I talk to him and I actually do it and I, and I just, just do positive things for God. Like I know that by serving others, like the, like the scripture says, Colossians three twenty three, because whatever you do for others, you also do for God. And that's so true. So guys, if you just, Sometimes, like, it, it, when you don't want to, like, clean your room and your mother's asking you, you know, clean your room or, or always getting on to you. And sometimes you're like, I don't want to do that today. You know, instead of being upset about it, just do it, you know, just get up and do it. And that's helping your mother, you know, and that's helping um, your family out. And so sometimes when we do the things that we don't want to do, you start seeing the outcome of that. You start seeing that that it's, it is a, a good thing that you stepped up and did it. You know, when you don't want to, you do the right thing. And always remember that when you struggle with that, ask God to help you, you know, pray about it and say, God, help me. Like today, I don't know, I'm feeling so angry right now, or I'm so sad right now, God, or I don't, I'm just whining a lot and, and I don't want to whine. So can you help me, God? Can you help me get through that so I can 
be, be a better person and help others around me because like like we, like this uh devotional says pollution solution that is our solution we don't want to be the person that throws you know negativity out or whining and then everybody has to suffer because we don't want to do something so that's not okay guys so um i recommend you guys to you know just stop sometimes and and ask god to help you and he will he will help you get through it and then you'll start seeing a lot of of joy seeing other people happy you know so that's just the way it works you know we're all here together so we all have to do our parts and just and do do the right thing or do the things that we don't want to do and let's get out of being angry sometimes and that's hard i know that's hard because people struggle with that but just getting away from it and just praying and then asking john give me like you know like the devotional says you know give me a joyful spirit god i want to be happy i want to be joyful just like we were talking about like going outside and having fun and you know playing playing games and laughing you know that is a joyful spirit and then when you start being more joyful you don't you, you don't even have the desire to like want to whine and, or you just want to make people happy and so that just kinds to that produces out of you and that's a great thing guys so um so let's all of us work together to do that let's do it let's be a better person so we can be better in our environment around us in our community so thank you so much for joining i miss you guys and i hope to see you guys uh tuned in next next weekend and see what um or you know our nightly devotionals for everyone you know all the other teachers doing it um so let's let's work at what we uh what, what we learned today let's work at that and we'll go ahead and close with a nightly prayer dear heavenly father thank you so much for this powerful word that you be shared with us and you spread with us lord Thank you so much. We we're we're understanding, Lord, that you know not every time are you expecting us to to be you know in that uh, not every you understand that not every day we're gonna have a happy day. We're gonna have our bad days and we're gonna have our good days. But God, we know that at the end of the day, you always help us through. You give us that joyful spirit, and we say close to you god and we pray and we talk to you lord you always help us through and you know forgive us for any of us that have you know have not done so well you know help us be a better person and help us just influence others to be happy and spread the love lord at the end of the day that's all you want from us is just to get gather in your name and praise you and be be kind to each other lord you want us you you command us you know, to love one another. And I ask that you help me um, as I struggle through that as well, Lord, and help others that are listening today, all the kids, help them as well. And thank you so much for always being a kind father to us. And today is Father's Day, and I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you so much for being our father, being our father and teaching us and disciplining us and and showing us the way of the living, Lord, because it's ultimately your way, Lord, and it's better your way, Lord. Thank you so much for being a, 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 a great, great God that we have and, and love to serve. Thank you for everything you do for us. And all these things we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, guys, see you later. Have a good one.